if we're going to be the kind of country that starts going into deficit, even when the economy is growing, we return to deficit. We know in the past that is a recipe for permanent deficits because, look, once you lose the anchor of a balanced budget, mm -hmm. uh, you're always under pressure to just spend more and not cover it. They're and not and, three. and we, we, nothing's going to magically balance the, bu uh, balance the budget after three years. When you increase spending to that level, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do a combination to, a, if you eventually try and fix it, you're going to do a combination of tax hikes, of ongoing borrowing, or of cuts. In fact, in the Liberal Party. After the many years the Trudeau Liberals have been in power, they are starting to run out of other people's money. The well, despite the recent hike to the capital gains tax, is running dry. On June 30th this year, Trudeau held a confidential meeting in Vancouver to discuss the prospect of taxing the sale of your house, even if it's your primary residence. The man he met with was Paul Kershaw, a left-wing activist who founded the organization Generation Squeeze. The reason the meeting didn't stay confidential is because Kershaw posted part of it on his podcast. While Canada has always been known as a bastion of excessive taxation, the notion of having a tax man touching any of the gains you've made on the sale of your house has long been a no-no. It's the one thing the majority of Canadians appear to agree is off limits. Kershaw, however, has been advocating for taxing the sale of your primary residence for years. You could even go so far as to call it his life's work. But when you're dealing with a guy like Trudeau, a narcissistic ideologue, there are no limits. And he's all ears when Kershaw is speaking. In a recent article covering this story, Brian Lilly of the Toronto Sun wrote the following. In the fall of 2018, a policy proposal came forward through part of a party consultation that called for a massive tax hike on the sale of homes, not investment homes, but your primary residence. The proposal called for a 50% tax on any profits from a home sale after one year of ownership, 25% after two years, 15% after three years, 10% after four years, and 5% after five years. We have never applied a capital gains tax on the sale of your primary residence. For investment properties or cottages, this tax has been applied, but not on your own home. Aside from being able to score a meeting with the Prime Minister, Kershaw also consults with, you ready for this? The Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, better known as the CMHC. And he pitched his idea of taxing the sale of your home on more than one occasion. But it was a suggestion he had for the CMHC in 2022 that really raised alarm bells. Rather than waiting for the sale of a home to happen, Kershaw recommended that people be taxed on their homes while they're living in them based on the house's value versus the level of their income. In other words, if you bought a house for $200,000 and you make $100,000, you'll pay a lot higher in taxes than someone earning $80,000 a year and living in a $600,000 home. We don't even need to hear from Jagmeet Singh and his NDP jackals to know they'd be 100% on board with this, which means we're in perilous territory. Together with the NDP, the Liberals hold a majority and could easily pass a capital gains tax on homeowners selling their primary residences. Sure, the Conservatives can leverage the supermajority they're expected to get come the next election, but they won't be able to undo this right away, meaning that thousands of homes will sell in the meantime and be taxed accordingly. How do you feel about the idea of having to pay a large chunk of the gains you've made on the sale of your home? Sound off in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already.